Hi guys and welcome to the Helpful Solutions. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make NAT chart on MS Word. So you would have probably seen the NAT chart in Microsoft projects that is always available in the right corner of your projects. So this is the NAT chart. And if you want this NAT chart in your Microsoft project, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So first of all, open a PC and navigate to the start and search for Microsoft Word. Open Microsoft Word application and here click on the blank document or you can use any of the document that you would have already created. So I'm starting with blank document. Now type in anything in this document. For example, the title of the document that you want to make, the NAT chart you're going to make, design tracking. And now if you want to make a NAT chart on this words, you will have to simply click on the insert button that is at the top left corner and then click on this chart option just right here and then you will see this menu. In this menu, select bar and click on any one of these bars that you want to make. So I'm selecting the second bar that is most near to NAT chart and click on OK. After I click on OK, you can see right here, this is the NAT chart that I just inserted in the words and it will automatically open up this Excel file that is linked with this NAT chart. So make sure you always complete your word and then insert this NAT chart in order to avoid any confusions. So after inserting this NAT chart, you can see right here, this is the Excel file and here this Excel sheet is linked to this NAT chart. Now, if you want to rename this category one, two, three, four, that is written at the left corner, you will have to simply edit these fields. So I'm removing all these fields, for example, category one and naming this design plan. So I just renamed all these bars just right here. And now you can edit all these columns too. For example, if it's written series one, I can rename this anything that I want. For example, date, finish date and days. So now whenever you're going to add another field, for example, if I add a field named done, you can see right here, this added this done field. Now, now you can edit the value of these fields, for example, the date. So you can see right here, this has automatically adjusted. This bar has automatically adjusted to according to the values that I enter in these fields. So now you can edit these fields and enter any of the values according to the Excel sheet that is just right here. So if you know how to use Excel sheet, make sure you use all the knowledge that you have of Excel sheet to create a perfect NAT chart in words using this insert option that we get at the top left corner. So you can see right here, this is the NAT chart and this is the actual sheet that is linked to this NAT chart. So that's the way through which you can use NAT chart on word, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.